Right, here I am, remnants of some sort of beacon settlement here. There you've got the uh, the beacon. Got the beacon there, look. There's a beacon, so I'll have to move on in a minute. There's the beacon. And here's Sheila. Plantations down there, Smith's Coombs down there, and I've walked them all over there. And there's all the, this is Somerset here, Taunton will be over that way somewhere. If, ahead of me, you've got Watch It. Further over, you've got Minehead and Porlock. It's a bit misty, so you can't see in detail over there. But that's, um, if I just zoom in there. There's Watchet Harbour there, which I've walked along in the summer last year. I walked from Minehead to Watchet. I caught the train from Watchet to Minehead another time. And I stayed over at Porlock for four or five days while I explored Bosington Hill and all the other walks, a lot of other walks over there. Culbone Church and all that sort of thing. In front of me here we've got the plantation. There's a place to park down the bottom there. And I'll be coming up through a valley down, down going up there, which I went down last time. It was very pretty. I don't know if it, I can't remember what time of year it was, but I know it was very pretty. And um there were lots of berries on the trees and stuff. I don't know if it was autumn though. Can't remember now. That was a beautiful day. I've been quite lucky when I've come out, really. I mean, I haven't been... I've been out every month. I've been out in January. The weather hasn't been too bad. I did it nearly every month last year. I think I did every month last year. I tried to do the same. Uh, today is um, the 26th of February, so I've just squeezed February in. This will be the first time in February I've been on the Quantox. Time is going very fast. February has gone really, really fast. You know, January. Oh, well, to be quite honest, I haven't really noticed what I call a winter. It's been like, well, you know, like autumn for ages. And um, from October, when I started thinking, oh, winter's coming, cold and all that, you know, it's been a very mild winter and it's gone very quick as well. I haven't felt too in entombed. I've, I always do a lot of work, indoor work in the winter anyway. I've got lots of family tree stuff to do, storing stuff, digitalizing stuff, sorting stuff. And I'm in the process of uh, spring cleaning, sorting, and uh, packing, because I'm getting prepared to move. <laughs> Not far away. <laughs> it's, uh, not going very far at all, but it's all a bit uncertain at the moment. But I'm just getting ready just in case. And it gives me an opportunity to sort through my stuff. And I, I have actually had to throw some stuff away, which is total rubbish. I've given Zara some stuff that she can have now, or she can look after whatever she wants to do, or she could throw it away. Um, I've given her our, the Einstein computer, for example, the first computer we had. Um, I've been carrying it around for bloody 30 odd years. I thought well, she could have it now. <laughs> Probably don't even work properly anymore, and it? it's so slow compared to what we're used to. That's the 80s. That's in the 80s we got that. Like 85, 86, something like that, we got it. Yeah, all the, the beginning stuff of computing's on that. Got all the manuals, the floppy disks. Anyway, folks, I don't really want to know about that, do um, I'm walking down. When I came up the other way, we went 
walked was it down the valley I went yeah down there through the plantation I walked round because I hadn't long done the beacon before but today because it didn't seem very high up I thought to myself as compared to if you've come from down there I thought well I just well walk down it and now I'm going through the plantation then back up a valley and then back down through Holford Coombe It'll be um, Shepherd's Coombe to start with. Then it goes into Hodder's Coombe to the Fords. A meeting place. Fords have always been. Probably where people with ho on horseback and all that would stop to let their horses have a rest and a drink and all that sort of thing. There's lots of history we don't know about or it's forgotten history now about these various little places on the hills where people before how we get about um, in, en masse used to come you know people going on journeys and things like that and we got of course we got William Wordsworth and Coleridge two, and two centuries ago at least and how, um, that they liked walking for inspiration they love this place so we're blessed here in Somerset really with this beautiful place even though we've got that monster called Inkley Point no I'm sorry but it's a monster it's employing thousands of people from not even from Somerset a lot of them they come from other countries and um Anyway, we won't get into that. I don't want to ruin the day, thinking about Inkley Point. All I know is they can't be very good if all the others have stopped making them now. Yeah, I've wandered over that way before now, when I've been up the top there, and I've come from down that, I've been from over there, and at one point I was going to go down that valley there, or even round. That takes you to West Quantock Head over there. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to explore that. I'm going to leave that for another time to explore that bit. I'm just going to do the straightforward one down here and up the valley because I've done quite a lot of walking this last two weeks. I mean, I enjoy it though. I enjoy it. Uh, right, over and out for a minute. I'll take some photos again. This is Sheila on the 20. 6th of February 2019 on the Quantock Hills near the plantation in the wee valley over there or if it's not a valley it's a coombe whatever it is um, I've seen some deer earlier glad I stopped and took photos of them though because I might not see any more today once more and more people get out right over and out